The Fall of Icarus, a stick figure story by K. Ryan Hennessy. Once, not so long ago, and not so far away, there lived a great and brilliant architect who had once made a great labyrinth for the king of Crete. After the labyrinth was completed, the king didn't want his monster, the Minotaur, to be defeated, and so he locked the architect, whose name was Daedalus, in a tower with his only son, and there he would keep them for the rest of their lives. But Daedalus was very bright and very smart, and he soon came up with an idea to escape from his tower. My boy, he said one day to his son Icarus, I need you to start gathering all of the feathers from the pigeons in the courtyard and on the window sills. And once we have all of those, we'll be one step closer to getting free. And so the boy, Icarus, did it as his father asked, and he collected all the feathers that he could find. And soon they had mounds of feathers up there in their tower room. Now, my boy, we need to find some sticks and twigs. Reach out and break off of the branches near the tower. Pick up the sticks in the courtyard when you're out playing at your game. And so they did, and soon they had a nice pile of straight, strong twigs and sticks. And finally, Daedalus stole some glue from the kitchens, and they had everything that they needed to enact his plan. For three days and three nights, Daedalus worked at his bench tirelessly until finally he had completed them. Two pairs of wings. One sized for a man, and one sized for a boy. Strapping on his own wings first, Daedalus tested them out, stretching them with his arms, flapping them back and forth, and then finally jumping from the window and soaring through the air, flying with the agility and the strength of a bird. He landed and quickly strapped on the wings to Icarus and said, my boy, we're going to be free. We're going to fly away. Now listen to me and listen well. I need you to fly near me. Stay in the middle distance of the sky. If you go too close to the sun, it will melt the wax of your wings and your feathers will fall. And so too will you. But don't go too low either, for the air is too damp, and your feathers will soak up and become too heavy, and you will fall. You must stay with me. Do you understand? And Icarus, Icarus excited at the, the, the prospect of flying, at the prospect of freedom, said, of course, of course. And so they jumped from the window, and they fell for a bit, and then whoosh, they caught the air, and they soared like birds away from the fortress and over the sea, and Icarus was filled with delight. He was free, he was a bird, and he, he soared high up into the air, stretching his wings as far as they could go, and he reached and he reached and he felt the heat of the sun on his skin and it was glorious, and suddenly he was falling, and he was flapping his hands and flapping his arms, but there were no more feathers, for they had all fallen away, and soon he was plummeting, and then he was down into the sea, and he was gone, and Daedalus was alone in his freedom. The end. Thanks for watching. This is K. Ryan Hennessy. Be sure to visit kryanhennessy.com for books, stories, art, and more. Thanks for coming.